Hey, Greg here from 605 Running Company. Today I'm going to review the Mizuno Wave Kazan. Uh, so Mizuno claims that this shoe was designed off of the phrase Fear and Kazan, which the translation is move as swift as the wind, stay as silent as the forest, attack as fierce as fire, and be as undefeatable as the mountain. Whatever that means, it's a sweet shoe. Um, I got the shoe in May. I've been wearing it all summer. I've run mostly at Good Earth, but I've also gone out west to the Black Hills, done some running out there. And this shoe I'm, I'm really pleased with, i got to be honest. Um, I bought it just because I wanted a trail shoe. I wanted to try it out, and I grabbed it here at the store, and it's done really well. If you're familiar with the Mizuno lineup, it is uh, basically it's the Wave Rider only in trail shoe form. It's a neutral shoe. It's um, higher cushion as far as higher cushion for Mizuno can go. Um, the knock on Mizunos is that they tend to be more firm than other shoes. For trail running, I don't mind that. I actually like that quite a bit. Um, I feel like I have a lot of control when I'm on the trails going up hills, down hills, over different types of terrain. Um, so this is this is my shoe, and you can see it, it's been it's done really well. It's got some nice lugs on the bottom, especially for trails around here like Good Earth or Great Bear. Um, you know, it's heavy duty, it's it's firm, it's not going to throw you for a loop on any of the running around Sioux Falls or East River for sure, and it, it performed well out in the hills too. Um, the the shoe, what I really like about it is it's light. It's a light trail running shoe. It's only nine and a half ounces, which is great. Um, it's a 12 millimeter heel drop, heel to toe, um, that whole business. So it's, it's stacked up, it's very traditional. Um, I prefer lower stack shoes, but this shoe for trail running, I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoy the heels height on the hills. It, it seems to do well that way. Um, the upper is, you know, there's some heat welding here. There's a stitching here. Here, um, it's held held together really well. It's starting to wear right here. I don't know. Yeah, right here in the toe. That's kind of standard for shoes, I guess, at some point in their life. But I've run it through the ringer and it's held up really well. I appreciate this shoe for that. Um, my dislikes. What I don't like about the shoe, um, it, it kind of comes up high in the heel area, in the heel area here, and it rubs my ankle. Kind of funny, but I don't notice it when I'm running. I more notice it when I walk in the shoe. I did the Volksmarch out west where I climbed up Crazy Horse and I was more walking. Kind of rubbed the bone on my heel raw. I think wearing a different sock would alleviate that. Um, no problem. So if you're looking for a traditional shoe um, that's going to perform well on the trails, I'd highly recommend the Wave Kazan. I've really been, enjoyed this shoe. I wear it all the time and I'm wearing it out and it's performing great. Thanks everyone. See you next time.